The last set of primary inputs is the settings tab. And this is the gear in the lower left hand corner of our main screen. If you click on that, that pulls up some options that allow you to control the way calculations are done in ERA, some of the graphics that are displayed, and then also the design factor assumptions, which are what we will be trying to maintain all of our loads within when we're taking into consideration the limitations of our tubulars. So let's start at the top. Uh, and it would make most sense to begin with a calculation interval. By default, ERA assumes a 100-foot calculation interval. Anytime a snapshot calculation is done, the string is broken up into 100-foot segments, if that's what we have in our input box here. Starting from the bit and moving all the way up the string, the string's broken up into 100-foot segments unless some other change in the string, such as the dimensions or change in the whole size, force a new calculation to be done. But in general, 100 foot would be the increment at which each calculation is done, which is a fairly good compromise between accuracy and speed. Uh, setting this calculation interval to something less than 100 foot does not bring with it a significant amount of accuracy. Uh, and likewise, if we were to go to, say, three or 400 foot calculation interval, calculation would be done slightly faster, but we would lose quite a bit of accuracy. Now, the depth base points is how many depth based points will make up a depth based plot. And what I mean by that is how many times will a snapshot calculation be done in order to create a depth based plot? And maybe it would be easier to just illustrate that with a depth based plot. So here I have a tripping hook loads depth based plot. This is a driller's view plot of tripping the drill string in or out of the hole. And on this particular plot, there's 50 points from surface all the way to TD that make up these curves. And you can see the resolution is pretty good. If I was to only do five depth base points, you could see all of a sudden now the curves uh, lose a lot of uh, resolution. And it's harder to understand actually what's going on with my string. The calculation is performed very quickly. If you notice in the bottom, this uh, driller's view calculation to 20,000 feet only takes um, 217 milliseconds, so one-fifth of a second. But there's not a lot of resolution in this sort of calculation. If I go back to 50 points, you can see now that I get a lot more character in the curves. It only takes uh, a couple of seconds to recalculate, which is pretty acceptable. If I went uh, a little overboard and and had 500 depth base points, you'll notice now the calculation takes considerably longer, particularly the limit curves. Uh, and we'll talk about the limit curves later on in these videos. But what's holding us back right now is how many calculations need to be done in order to gener generate the limit curve. And now finally, after almost 20 seconds, we finally have our, our limit curve displayed. So our recommendation in the default setting is just 50 depth base points on our driller's view plots. Likewise, the volume base points, which are what we use in cementing, there's also 50 points on those graphs. If you find for some reason that the resolution is insufficient, you can always increase that to get a little bit more character in the plots. Uh, there's a checkbox here under indicators. It says show formation tops on wellbore. And since in my Earth Builder, I've entered in some formation tops. If I was to click this box, you would notice now on my sketch uh, markers for those tops appear, which can be quite handy when we're doing well design work. The other inputs are the default design factors, or some people call safety factors. And this is how much we're going to derate a particular um, new rating of a tubular, whether that be casing or drill collars or heavyweight. Or, or drill pipe. And I say new if the tubular is specified as new. Later on when we're in the string builder, you'll see that you can specify that tubular as something other than new, API Premium Class or API Class 2. The same design factors will be applied uh, regardless of the class. So a little bit confusing there, apologize. Uh, by default, we assume for API casing connections that there's a 1.6 design factor, meaning we're taking the API rating and dividing by 1.6, and that's how we come up with our limit curve, if, for example, that's what we were drawing in this particular graph. 
for premium or proprietary casing connections, such as VAM top or, or a hydro connection, we assume a 1.4 uh, tension design factor. Drill pipe tool joints operate at 1.2, uh, both for tension and compression. Makeup torque is assumed to operate at 100% of the makeup torque value. Burst and collapse loads use a design factor of 1.2, as does VME. VME stands for Von Mises Equivalent, and we have a special section dedicated to just discussing VME. Essentially, it is a combined load case where we consider all the stresses that are on the pipe. If you've gone through the program and changed a bunch of settings on your plots and you wish to just reset everything back to the native conditions, this button uh, allows you to do that. We'll reset everything back to the original settings.